What's up, guys? Hola. Hoje temos mais um filme brasileiro para assistir. Tropa de Alici. 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 Vocês pediram e hoje eu vou mostrar esse filme. É um dos meus filmes preferidos do Brasil. And it's a little intense, so we've watched City of God. City of God. We've watched A Dog's Will. A Dog's Will, a classic. <laughs> One of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Now, so Trupa di Alici, let me give you a little bit of context about okay. the movie. So it takes place in in and out of the favelas in Rio. It kind of shines a light on what the drug dealers' lives are like in the favelas, but it also talks about how the favelas affect the lives of everybody else who the lives in the of, city yeah and vice versa yeah like like a favelas is kind of the key to everything it unlocks everything right well like not, not unlocks <laughs> it just shows the interactions social interactions political interactions okay. between the favelas and the other neighborhoods in okay. the city Okay. So, cool. but it's it's a really good movie. It's a powerful movie. It has Wagner Mora, yeah, the guy uh, from Pablo, Narcos. Yeah, pa yeah, Pablo Escobar. Yeah. yeah. I'm Mora. super excited to show it to you. Um, we're gonna watch. We'll stop about halfway through. Give you guys our first impressions, and yeah, we'll see you in a few minutes. Yes, can't <laughs> wait. Let's go. All right. So we are an hour through the movie. Yeah. What are your kind of first impressions of the movie? Um. So good. Just. Based on some of the other movies too that we've seen, like really good storytelling. So just characters, mm -hmm. um, development, and I'm very in it and like really latched onto it. And it was just like very intense. Yeah. Oh, just wait. <laughs> <laughs> ah! yeah, yeah, it is the same kind of storytelling from City of God, mm -hmm. the other yeah. Brazilian movie we watched. The, the way that they introduce the characters and then they kind of foreshadow what's going to happen later on in the movie mm -hmm. with the initial scenes and then work their way back to it. Again, like City of God, it's a movie that's really intense, kind of from the first few minutes, really good storytelling just keeps you on edge. Yeah, well, what's and, gonna happen. I mean, there's movies that you know it's not real, and then there's movies that you can see some of the the harsh realities, and like yeah. that's that's why I'm so in it too, because there's like this sense of reality behind the whole thing. Yeah. Again, similar to, um, City of God, just like the complicated relationship between cops Everybody. and community. Even the relationships between Within, the cops. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. It's like everyone, everyone's like, yeah, working against each other even when they're together. Like, it's, it's weird. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's really crazy. All right, so we got about an hour left in the movie. We're going to finish it. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Adios. All right, so that was Elite Squad. Ah, that was... What a way, what an ending. Yeah, the ending is crazy. The whole movie is crazy, just seeing how everything plays out. Um, was there any, any like cultural pieces that you picked up on that you, something you didn't know about? Or, I mean, I guess, what did you learn from the, from the movie? A common theme that I like think about is they say like the rich, the rich kids. Or you know the like the elite, the playboys, the playboys. Yeah, 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 exactly. But so it kind of it goes deeper, and it it just sees how it's tied to just like everyday life more. Yeah. And so you see that intensity with the favelas, but then how it like float like it falls on to just like everyday like life too. Yeah, yeah, and I think the movie does a good job of showing that those rich kids who are smoking a joint, like they're the reason why what's happening in the favelas is happening. Yeah. So yeah, just all the different relationships that the film kind of shines a light on is, is really, I think the most impactful part of the movie. Yeah, for sure, and I mean, we talked about it kind of just like the circle of life or just like the circle of just like how things happen and how connect interconnected everything really is. It's, yeah, it's, that was powerful, that was crazy. Yeah. yeah, it definitely opens your eyes a little bit to not only how life is in the favelas, but how the police have to like cheat off of each other. Like 
there's division between the police to see who can like cheat the system the most, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah, Which I thought was interesting. Yeah, no, for sure. And actually that reminds me, I wrote it down because they talked about it, um, micro power structures. Mm -hmm. Within the gangs, within the police, within society as a whole, there's like these groups of people who think they control a certain area, a certain piece, you know? Yeah. And it's this like gain for control that's just causing all this conflict versus like trying to figure out solutions to the problems to make everyone mm -hmm. better because the, right. the solutions they are not gonna come unless every part is like improved yeah or, or like talked about yeah yeah and like I said when I showed you City of God this isn't a movie that would be one of the first things I'll show to somebody when yeah. they're learning about Brazil mm -hmm. but at the same time you should learn about this because it is part of Brazil no, unfortunately. No, and that's, I mean, and we've talked about this before. We've had a lot of fun and talked about a lot of the cool, fun parts of Brazilian culture. But again, there's good and bad. There's right. dark and light. You have to see both to really get a feel. And this, like the other movies too, just gave me a really like clear picture on just like the re like reality, honestly, yeah. a little yeah. bit more. Yeah, it is like a slap of reality in your face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Yeah, so like I was saying, the cops, I thought it was interesting, like Neto at the beginning, he was trying to be a good cop working at the auto shop, and he's like, mm -hmm. hey, I need these parts to do my job, and the, the supervisor was like, ah, figure it out, man. You have to figure out how to do your job because we don't have money. You might, like, I'm not gonna give you my money that I've illegally acquired so you can do your job. You have to illegally acquire your own money or like cheat the system. Yeah. So it's like, even just to do their jobs, they have to find a way to cheat the system or to mm -hmm. like rob people or take bribes from people. I thought that was interesting because there's a lot of different perspectives and opinions on how the police in Brazil, but you kind of have to know a lot of different things to understand everything that's going on and that's part of it is that they feel like they need to do that to survive and make a decent living and it's just part of their culture. Yeah, and it, I feel like it started off as like, okay, like one bribe here and then it just, it just spirals yeah. and keeps going, going, going and then the whole department, the whole police force, the whole, the whole country, like then, then it's that's how deep it goes yeah you know it's upon every layer yeah anything else pop out um that like classroom scene mm -hmm. i thought really just like kind of you know you could see the violence and stuff but the actual dialogue in that scene was very like you know seeing both sides and and at the end of the day, everything's so complicated, too. So, yeah. so, like, you found yourself, like, agreeing with the students, and then you found yourself agreeing with Mateus. Yeah. Tuck, you know, so... And it's, it's even harder for us to mm -hmm. try to pick a side, like, who's right in that conversation because we know so little about it. Mm -hmm. And I think it's it's probably even hard for Brazilians to, to think about those kind of concepts. Who's right? Are, yeah, are yeah. all police corrupt? Are they not? Is it just a couple yeah. of them? So... Yeah, it's, it's, as always, I, I said it before, I'll say it again, I feel like all these movies that I've, definitely the movies I've shown you, but most of the movies, Brazilian movies that I've seen have these kind of deeper, they really get into these deep cultural issues and it's something that I enjoy learning about. Because yeah. It helps you understand the country more. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and whether different movies sh or shows or, or everything that we've watched, there's like themes. Once you start to see the pattern, you start, the pictures becomes a little bit clearer. Yeah. And um, even, I don't know if this is a stretch on my part, this is the last thing <laughs> I want to say, but that the reality behind a lot of the issue was protection of the Pope. Because another theme that we've been common is that religion is really important. And yeah. so that- They've done that in the past too. Like for the World Cup, I know that, I, I don't even know exactly what happened, but I know that there was like a big push to make Rio safe for for the Olympics because they were they were really worried about that so I don't know what kind of same if they use the same tactics I would imagine that if they did something similar yeah. and kind of just swept through and tried to suppress the violence while That's... the world was watching uh -huh. them. but it's like I for me I, it's like okay can can we find a long-term solution to mm -hmm. try to help everybody buddy involved yeah um, but I think it's just there's so many cultural political aspects to find a solution that it's it's tough it's really hard yeah yeah absolutely yeah um and i think i mean it's so like we've said multiple times it's so complex but i think part of what you're allowing me to do and what we've been doing together is we can just educate ourselves yeah and um 
that's what I think just knowing that that's an issue, you know, obviously Brazilians do like it's blowing my mind right <laughs> now that like this is what's happening and to think that even in the World Cup to like me that was just like soccer. Woo -hoo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's Which like is what it should be. Yeah. And then there's like all this stuff going on behind the scenes. So it was, yeah, just a very eye opening and, and good movie. Just yeah. powerful movie. Very powerful movie. <laughs> Thanks for coming and watching another movie. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Very much. It's not like a comedy, like a feel good movie, like a dog's yeah, will. Yeah, dog's will. That, it's okay. <laughs> Again, we got to, we got to get serious. Sometimes we got to laugh. It's, yeah. It was good. Cool. And now, gente, espero que vocês tenham gostado do vídeo. Eu espero que vocês tenham uma boa semana e tchau, tchau. Tchau.